everybody. I just got to the RV. I did bring Jensen with me today, so we have not only air conditioner noise, but also dog noise. For those of you who don't know, Jensen is one of three of my dogs. Um, my grandparents are in town this week, and they are particularly fond of Jensen. He's the dog that I had before I got married. And so I brought him over there to see them, and then I came straight over here instead of taking him home. I came straight over here, um, and with this being a construction zone, it's probably not safe for him to be walking all over the floor. So I'm probably gonna sweep it up, and then I actually just got a new rug for the RV today. And so even though the flooring's not in, I might put that down. So after I get everything swept up, the goal is to paint those cabinets back there. You can see I primed them yesterday and one day last week. I've got the white paint, so they're primed white, and now I need to paint them white, so I'm gonna get started on that as best I can with the dog here. Um, if it starts to go south, I'll probably just stop and finish it up tomorrow. But that is the plan, and then there are a couple spots that need contact paper, so I'll probably put that in while I'm here just because I can do that with Jensen here. It's not a big deal. So, that's the plan. A dog safe space. Oh, that's a good space. So I'm in the bathroom because I'm trying to get this paint ready and I left the primer that was in here yesterday because I basically ran out. I don't really know how to get this out without making a mess. So I don't know if I'm gonna try to peel it out or what's gonna happen. I don't want to spill everything everywhere. I mean, the real issue here is I don't want to get paint all over my hands, I say, as I get paint on my finger. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to figure this out so I can try to get some painting done. I feel kind of dumb because I've been working on picking out the paint from this roller tray, or the dried primer actually, to get to the wet primer so I can wash it out. And I just realized that we don't actually have any water that the water is all turned off because there's a little bit of a leak in the existing building on this property. So I'm wasting my time and I can't paint today. Which, I mean really, probably better because Jensen is a happy boy and he would inevitably wag his tail in the wet paint on the wall. So probably better, but I just feel stupid. That's okay, we'll find something else to do, you know? Uh, I just took a really long break because we were able to get the water situation worked out a little bit and I haven't gotten anything done but I'm going to try to get the contact paper on those two spots at least um, before it gets too dark in here. So lighting my day might not be great just because it's getting a little bit later and getting a little bit darker but I'm going to do my best to get what I can done. So the next thing that I do is I see which way it's gonna fit best. So I'm gonna have to go 22 long in order to get one piece in there, which will just look better. And I'm just 
just going to do the same thing again. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It was like seven and an eighth, so I'm just going to go a tiny bit outside of this corner. Okay, so then we have both pieces, and then I will just put them in. It's actually really convenient that one of them comes out because I can show you more of my process. First, I just wanna make sure that it's the right size. This is actually a little bit shorter than I thought it was gonna be. It doesn't seem to go all the way to the end. It's close, it's really, really close. But I'm gonna start at the end that you'll see. Instead of starting in the back, I normally start in the back. But I wanna make sure that the front looks the best. Basically what I do is I take a big corner, Line it up really well, and then I press it down. So that corner is actually a little bit clipped off, and then I go from underneath and pull it. And then I smooth down as I go. Um, on this wood, it's really easy to kind of pick it up and adjust it as I need to. I normally wouldn't do the whole thing at once, just because you want it to be like really crisp and. Um, as you can see, this is a little bumpy. This definitely didn't stick as well as the ones in the cabinets or in the drawers. But luckily, both of these come with uh, these racks that pull in and out for like canned goods and things like that. So um, those will be like screwed into the bottom. I just didn't want to look at the disgusting carpet from before. As always things never go as planned and we're probably gonna leave here in just a minute to go to Lowe's or Home Depot but I wanted to show you the pumpkin patch before we go here oh that's a good boy that's a good boy are you ready are you ready are you ready go get it right here oh that's a good one it for the vlog today. Um, I'll probably be back later this week to do some more. I'm a little nervous. There's wasps. We almost had it. I probably won't, but maybe I'll hang the cabinet fronts, which I've said I was gonna do every time I've come over here for the past two weeks. Oh, don't look it.